Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies and today we are continuing on with our new game plus adventure by moving on over to World 3. I guess not moving on because we've already done half of it. We're just doing the second half of World 3 today and there's already a Zamboni staring us in the face which is not fun to deal with but that is why we're gonna go ahead and get some flowers. We'll definitely do the, the, uh, Im, the Impotaster Potato. What is his name? Every time Imitator. Imitator. And then we'll also get where are they? Spike weeds would be great. I think, you know, if we could get the spike rock, that would be just as great. I don't know if the chances are really gonna work with us there. And yeah, beyond that, I don't know really how we're gonna use the split pea in a very decent way. Some people were actually telling me we don't have any scuba zombies here, but that cabbage pulse or any kind of pulse that would throw an arching projectile, that will actually work against snorkeling zombies. So thank you so much for those of you letting me know that. That sounds exciting. I think that we'll just do... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we don't need the twin. Maybe the twin is asking too much. And instead, we could go with something like, uh, I guess Torchwood to make up for the fact that we'll basically just have a normal split pea. So where's Torchwood at? And then finally, let's go for something like, um, Tangle Kelp maybe? Oh, I sort of wish I had a second seed slot here. I mean, I already have the Walnut, which is good. So maybe I could, uh, instead of that, if I want to do something a little bit better, I could just do potato mine to make things work. So <laughs> don't know if that's all that much better, but we'll try it and see what happens. So get a sunflower down. Luckily we do have our rake. So that's gonna help us out to start things off. And yeah, we'll get started and see how things roll. Hopefully well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for your patience between episodes. I know it's been a little bit longer just because these episodes are much longer now, but I plan on rolling out more and more as the summer goes on. I have lots of cool plans. Okay, so the first zombie, of course, not that big of a sweat because he's gonna hit the rake. And then we'll hopefully have enough sun to just keep earning stuff up for the potato mines that'll show up sooner or later. See, so yeah, I'll probably just have the split peas back here. Just, you know, that might be useful. And then we'll have Torchwoods for them. And then beyond that, we might struggle a little bit with some other stuff. But we'll do what we can and just sort of see what sticks. And here, here's that double sunflower really becoming helpful now. Uh, got it, and then you will be available, and then I'll get two more sun and you're available. It's just so much sun so quickly. I really appreciate it. Okay, and then we also have the chomper, which we can't forget, so we'll probably do um, pea shooters, torchwood chomper, and that should be a pretty good way to keep up with everything. Almost at the six potato mine, thank you. So we already have six sunflowers up, which is a pretty good amount. I'm thinking we probably wanna have the, the walnuts here then. So we'll probably get started on working on that in just a moment. But for right now, lily pads seem like a good idea as well. I mean, probably should just get some spike weeds out to just get things started. The last thing we wanna do is run into a super early Zamboni that just absolutely dismantles us. So getting something dealt there would be great. And you know what? Torchwood, not torchwood time, but chompa time. Two very different things. Potato mine here should still be able to get that guy. Okay, so let's start getting some split peas out, have enough for more spike weeds, which is always good. And then just sort of emergency spike weeds. I eventually, eventually wanna put the spike rock over that, but it just might have to wait a moment or two, thinking it's gonna be smarter to get a chomper here for this uh, cone head. A little too powerful for me right now, just to you know put down a uh, split pea. I mean, the split pea obviously isn't the most useful option in our situation, but it's the option we have, so we might as well work with it, right? Get our next spike weed, and we're doing pretty good. Like a lot of sun coming in for an obvious reason, because we have a lot of sunflowers. And now we have a spike weed on every single ground lane, which is really what I was looking for. Now we probably actually just want to keep on padding out the power of our water areas. If we could get some split peas on there now, just sort of as a preemptive thing, I forgot a chomper in that bottom area. Um. You know what, I'm just gonna have to do this really quickly. You'll have to stay there for now, and I'll have to fix that later. <laughs> Whoopsies, that happens. Mistakes are made. You learn from them, and you keep growing, and you prosper eventually, right? You can only hope. I definitely wanna get some lily pads with some sunflowers on them in the water lane, because it's just extra space for extra sun is always good, especially when we really need that sun. So, get that stuff there, perfect. And we wanna get more spike weeds out for if you know a bunch of zombies show up, we can get rid of more than one. That's where spike rocks will also be helpful, so I wanna get that one here, really damage that cone head a little bit. But I, ha I have a number of things I'm trying to focus on here, which is why it's gonna get more sunflowers out. We'll try to get you know, an, 
two more sets of three out. So in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six times three, 18 sunflowers in total, which will be great. We'll have to see how that ends up going because we have our first uh, huge wave of zombies coming in. That won't be fun to deal with, but we'll deal with it nonetheless. Hmm. I think we'll get another walnut out just so we can start recharging him. I'll get this guy out, and that seems pretty good to me. Get that coin. Okay, things are going pretty decent. Uh, so we just need one more lily pad for that one sunflower. Getting a little overwhelming on that water lane, I'll say that much, but I think we should be able to handle it. I'll have to wait and see. Okay, so I'm gonna get another spike rock out because they are available. Get a lily pad out, and this is gonna have, I think, another split pea on it, another sunflower down this way. Lots of like moving around and clicking that's like making it hard to keep up with everything, but I guess we're doing an okay job. Oh gosh. You know, I'm, I'm sort of thinking instead we should get a chomper. <laughs> that might not work out, but we'll find out together. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our first torch wood as well. There's so much I'm trying to keep up with here. It can be a little daunting. Get a 150 sun so that, ah, I can back up like this and get that. Very good. So we need our torch woods on these lanes, which will be great for those split peas. And we wanna do the same here as well, but I don't know, we might have to work with it a bit more. There we go, got him. That was good, that was good. So I'll probably do the same thing here where I get a chomper here and then a split pea there. Okay, so luckily he's showing up in front of a spike rock because the spike rocks take a ton of Zombonis while a spike weed only takes one. So it's good to have at least one of those in each lane. Got it. Get rid of him and split pea. So we'll end up probably just putting a walnut in that next set right here. And that should be good, I hope. We're about to find out now, aren't we? Come on, get a torch wood there. The torch woods recharge pretty quickly, so we should be overall fine from here on out. Can only hope. We have so many sunflowers. We really need it though, like it's legitimate to have this many in our situation. I mean, we can start replacing some of them for split peas once we earn up a good stash of them, but for right now, I really want that spike rock so that we are as protected as we can be against good old Zombonis. Get that coin, got it. <laughs> I don't really need the coins, but I'll take them. I mean, if you guys didn't see the last episode, we fully grew. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, let's do that. I activated the daisies cheat from the uh, Tree of Wisdom. I totally forgot about that. But yeah, we fully grew the Tree of Wisdom last episode. It might give more new, like stuff now that it's past 100 feet. We'll, we'll keep trying for sure, but I don't think it will. But as you can see right down here, there are daisies on the floor. By typing in the word daisies, we found that out through the Tree of Wisdom. We've also found out a number of other cheat codes that I would talk about, but we're a little busy at the moment. Come on, let's just deal with these zombies. There we go, perfect. So uh, yeah, I think we're gonna start getting rid of some of these uh, sunflowers for split peas. I think that'd be a good combo. But yeah, we also have future, and then we have mustache, and then I think that's all the ones we found out about. So we can just keep it like this forever. Uh, or we can undo them. One of the two. Oh, chocolate, and let's go ahead and try to get rid of these guys. Oh my, that's a bit of a problem. They stacked up over there real quick. So we are gonna go ahead and get a split pea like that. Maybe even another one. Oh geez, indeed. You know what? Why are there so many over here all of a sudden? It's not gonna end ever. I was too focused on cheat codes. No, cheat codes will be my downfall. Who would have thought? Darn it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No, no, no. Chomper, eat one of them, please. Got it, good job. Okay, so keep going. We ain't gonna give up. Oh my gosh, luckily all the other non-water lanes are doing okay. Emphasis on okay. Uh, they're not doing fantastic. Get a split pea there. Get a walnut here. Oh my gosh, get a torch wood here, that would be helpful. There we go, perfect, perfect. Go ahead and get more of these spike rocks. I mean, all the other lanes are doing pretty nicely. <laughs> I mean, we have a lot of sun as well. That's helping. But we're about to hit our last wave here. No, don't click off. Come on, come on. Give me a little bit more time. A little bit more time would be great. Please and thank you. I don't even need that much sun at this point. I just need more, more split peas. Oh my gosh, so uh, Zombonis have not been a problem this level, which is fantastic. We've used all three of our uh, Crazy Dave chosen plants, which is great. This first level is going pretty well then. Got it, okay. 
And there we have it, <laughs> pretty good. So I think that's all of them. Just gotta get rid of these jerks. And there we go, so level three, six is completed. We're not done there though, we're gonna get level three, seven, eight, nine, and 10 done. And we're back to the backyard, what do you know? So now we actually do have the uh, snorkel zombie, and we also have cone heads, bucket heads, brown coats, ducky tube zombies, and more zomboni. So interesting start, looks like we have the potato mine, pumpkin, and torchwood. So we actually have a pretty good setup if you ask me, I'm gonna buy more rakes. I think that we'll do Sunflower, we'll do Sunflower uh, Imitator, remember it this time. Uh, we'll do Repeater. I think we'll go, oh, actually we don't even need to go Walnut as much if we had the pumpkin. Let's do something fun, we'll go ahead and try the Cabbage Pult, or maybe we should try Watermelon. That's gonna be pretty expensive though with the Split Pea as well. But we're still gonna do it now, aren't we? We're just crazy. Never know what we're gonna do. Then we also need to get Spike Weeds. Oh, that is a little demanding though. For sure. Uh, spike weed, spike rock. But we've, we've earned up a lot of sun. I just wish we could also get a twin sunflower in here, but we'll work with what we got. It should turn out pretty gosh darn well, so let's go for it. And you have to just place more plants in general in backyard because you have six lanes instead of five to worry about. That's just sort of something you gotta keep in mind. All right, so let's go ahead and get our first piece of sun from the sky. Where is it, where is it? Got it, got it, got it, okay. So we only wanna focus on normal sunflowers first until we actually get to a point where we're recharging past. Because for this one, the animation time for the imitator probably would've taken even longer than just waiting for that to recharge. Not this time though, maybe actually that time. <laughs> Hard to tell. Uh, but we got the rake on that guy. That, actually, that guy popped up pretty soon. As you can see, there's four crazy waves to deal with right now instead of, uh, instead of three. So that's really concerning. Because usually we're used to three. Four is just really demanding. But we'll do what we can, we'll push our limits and see what we can end up getting. But at least it gives us a lot of time to earn up sun, which is always good. Okay, come on. Give me more sun, give me more sun. I need more. Got it. Got it, nice. So we just need one more piece of sun for another potato mine whenever this guy's ready for it. Whenever the potato mine's ready, I suppose. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Okay, so get that there. We already have our six sunflowers. We'll start working on lily pads as well. I'm just gonna get more sunflowers over there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting nervous because we just gotta get a lot done in such a short amount of time. Get another lily pad. Put it there, awesome. Should we do another potato mine for this guy? I don't think so, I think we should do repeater and then we should do potato mine for this guy on the top. Uh, I thought that's smarter and it's looking like it was a smarter idea but the potato mine's gotta be quicker. Maybe I should just go ahead and try to uh, not do that and get the uh, split pea. Or the, not the split pea, the repeater. Oh my gosh, oh nice, I'm glad I waited because now we have a potato mine for that guy, which is much better, because he's a cone head. Pretty early cone head as well. Okay, so this is like crazy intense, but we're making it work for now. Get another repeater, probably shouldn't have put him there, seeing how we already have a potato mine to deal with this guy, maybe? Oh my gosh, I was close. Ah, uh, I should have put him one block behind that. But hey, I made it work. Okay, so I do wanna do one more round of these sunflowers, get this guy there, perfect. So I don't know if I should have put the split peas that far back, because it just means more time for their uh, peas to travel, which isn't always the best idea. But in the meantime, what we could do is just put a torchwood there, and then put a pumpkin on this dude, and that's the combo we're looking for with that. Now I'm a little worried that there's not too much protected protection in the water lanes at the moment, and that's probably where we just wanna rush some watermelons. But I also need to worry about the, the uh, spike weeds, and that's where this level gets crazy difficult, is because I need to get watermelon and spike weeds. That's a lot to ask for, so maybe I shouldn't have done watermelon, and instead should have done uh, uh, cabbage pulse. Maybe that would've been better. For now though, we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, so. I could just get a spike rock on you right away, which might not be too bad of an idea. Get another 100, put it there. Okay, so we're moving through all this as fast as we can. Hmm. Got it. We got lots of sunflowers at this point. I mean, our normal 18, to be honest. So it's not too crazy, but I'm gonna put pumpkins on these guys. I feel like it's my best defense against the uh, the evil snorkel zombies at the moment. Like, I really don't, and of course they show up on the other side. Why? <laughs> oh boy, I'm a little scared, to say the least. See, it's just that one snorkel. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this there. Oh, we got ourselves a Zen Garden plant. Awesome stuff, I'll gladly grab that. So you're popping up. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but that was maybe a mistake, because now you're eating away at that torchwood. But we still got you. Very good, very good. So, should I put a pumpkin on him? Not quite yet. You know what, I should. Because <laughs> another snorkel zombie's about to pop up. Another Zen Garden! Whoa, back to back! Amazing stuff, I wanna see more of that every day. Okay, I can't wait to see what those two new plants are. Between uh, rounds, I might wanna go ahead and check to see if we have enough room in our Zen Garden, because we may not, and that would be a problem. So, might have to configure that a little bit. But in the meantime, get a Torchwood set up there. And we have 600 sun, so I don't know why I'm not putting Watermelon down. Gonna put one there for sure. Get a Torchwood like that. This, this Buckethead is gonna have a bad day. Simple as that. Okay, so we can get another watermelon over that way. Watermelons are charged surprisingly fast compared to how expensive they are. Usually the more expensive it is, the longer it takes, or at least with all of the upgraded purple things. They always take forever. Speaking of which, we almost have it ready. Okay, so, gotcha. So here comes our first Zomboni, luckily, no worries. We had that snorkel zombie coming up, but I don't think he's a problem. He is getting torn up pretty quickly. Hokey doke, so pumpkins are helping me a lot while I earn up enough sun to worry about something like the snorkel zombie and having a watermelon plant in there. For right now, because like right now that's just sort of not on the top of my priority list, you know? Getting torchwoods is, for sure. And then after that, more pumpkins. I need one more spike rock, but we're just waiting for that to recharge. There's our last torchwood, so now I can start worrying about watermelons. Okay, I feel like I need more sunflowers. This is where the twin sunflower would be super duper helpful, but couldn't quite get it. Okay, just need two more sun for 300 there, and that would be great, thank you. Oh gosh, I had enough for the spike rock. Get it there, perfect. Okay, we have a spike rock in every lane. So our second huge wave coming in, only halfway through now. So you can tell we have a lot of work to go. <laughs> but that's okay, it happens. Sometimes hard work is good work. So we just need one more watermelon and then we have a full set of them, all six. That's a lot of sun, that's 1800 sun in total. That guy's down, that's good. My computer's making noises, it wants me to update my Adobe programs. Not happening. I'm playing PVZ, that's much more important. <laughs> so yeah, this, as you can see, just boom, lands right on that guy. So thank you guys for that advice. Really helpful way to get rid of the uh, these snorkel zombies because obviously the next best thing is just to have uh, What's it called? It's just to have a uh, Tangle Kelp, but the problem with Tangle Kelp is you can only put down so many in a quick succession. Let's go ahead and do this, and then get some of that stuff. Oh my gosh, this is going by pretty quick though. I gotta be honest, like we're already almost at our third flag. I mean, I guess that's pretty decent timing wise. It's been like eight or nine minutes in this level. That guy shouldn't be too much of an issue, and he was not. I definitely wanna lay out more spike weeds though, just because that way, if there's a buckethead that shows up that's taking like a huge beating, but he's like charging through it, he should still have to walk through a bunch of spike weeds that'll hurt him along the way, and that's always great. So at this rate, if we wanna do anything more with a lot of our incoming sun, we can either get more split peas or more uh, watermelon. I think it's smarter to get more split peas because we can do it more quickly, and we already have the torchwood helping us, so let's keep it up with that. And we got our third huge wave approaching now. I'll get a spike rock, get a split pea, and just keep bouncing around with that kind of stuff. Sounds perfect. And we are using a lot of sun, I'm starting to fall behind on them now, but I still need to do this, just to keep up with all of the uh, different things heading our way. Lots of coins as well, which is awesome. So I can put this guy there. And we need one more pumpkin sooner or later for the last torchwood. Oh, we never got a spike weed over this way. I didn't see this little dude this little spot. Okay, so more coins. I I'm hoping we get another Zen Garden plant soon. We've already gotten two of them in one episode. That's usually pretty decent. Some episodes we get none, that's the wrong plant. Well, I guess that guy's staying there for a second. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's just silly that I did that. Okay, so we got another Zamboni. Don't really care too much. And I got another Spike Rock. Good stuff. Hmm. So we need 125 more sun, so keep working sunflowers. Need one more sun, come on. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> We're doing awesome now. 
We only need one more super huge wave, but at this point there's like always a Zamboni on screen, which is a little scary. You can just constantly hear them, hearing, you constantly hear them rev up their engines, their Zamboni engines. Okay, so we're doing fantastic. If there's anything else I can change, I'll probably just replace that uh, melon pulp for a split pea real quick just because I like it when everything's even. And I think we're gonna win with this combo, so I don't think we have to worry about too much more. But we've had an excellent start to today's episode, just getting a lot done, so I enjoy it. Let's actually pick up these coins before they disappear, though. Just because we win doesn't mean we should kick back and relax just so, just yet. And there we go, we did it! Awesome stuff, so 26,000 coins, level three, six, and three, seven completed. And like I said, before we continue on with the backyard, I wanna go to the Zen Garden if I can, so let's go to the main menu, just like that, go to Zen Garden, and we have these three plants. I just wanna make sure that we might run into two more, right? So I should probably sell these marigolds, just like that. That way we have enough room, just in case we get more than you know one or two Zen Garden plants showing up. We can get up to three with this, which we usually don't get any more than three in one round. I would be ecstatic, but just in case, there we go. They sell for 3,000 these, not so bad. Okay, everything's looking great, and we'll also feed you a little bit at the end of today's episode. That's gonna be good. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna do anything for us, but get back into the action. No more dilly-dallying, because we have a new game plus to complete. Okay, so we got the Dolphin Rider. Conehead, brown coat, and ducky tube. So it doesn't seem so bad, which is good because we are going to need to do something about the Mary Golden today in, in this level, not today's episode, but don't technically yes in today's episode. You know what I mean though. Uh, so we need lily pad, which we got. We need a tall nut. That's something we'll probably even rush is just tall nuts. That way we can get the dolphin rider zombie to be not that big of an issue. Beyond, beyond that, what do we want to do? We already have the split pea. Might as well go for a torchwood. Sorry if that's sort of a samey kind of a, a setup just because we've done that before, but I think it's worth our while. And if we have one more thing, we might as well get. I would say I would be fun to do another star fruit strategy. I just don't know if there's going to be enough room. So I think we'll go with lily pads. Oh, lily pads are, I mean, cattails will be a lot of fun. So we'll save that back row right here, these two and these two for some marigolds, and then we'll, we'll just have a normal uh, split pea setup. Come on, I need more sun. I guess I didn't do that as fast as I needed to. <laughs> I'm not on top of the game right now. Got it. And then we'll go ahead and place that one. I shouldn't have second guessed myself there. If I kept going, it would've been fine. So now we got that one, it's perfect. Come on now. A couple more sun, got it. And then we should get another one out of the sky in a moment, I think. Got it, got it. Look at how good that is. Six sunflowers out already, just super quick. The only problem now is we need to deal with this dude, which should be good from that distance. I sure hope so. If not, we'll be in trouble. And of course, it'll be a no-brainer using the repeater and the tangle kelp. It was more of a challenge trying to figure out about the marigold, but I think we have a strategy that should support it, and luckily, it really isn't that bad of a uh, amount of zombies that we have to deal with. It's just a matter of how early they throw a dolphin zombie at us. So if they throw it at us like right now, we'd be done. I mean, I guess we could tangle kelp it, so that's not true, but <laughs> it feels like it'd be bad. Can I get one more sun? Thank you. Okay, that was good. Can we, there we go. So that's a decent amount of sunflowers for right now. I mean, I probably should work on getting more over this way. But we need a potato mine for this dude. And then prop, I don't know what we wanna do with for this guy. I'm thinking we could just rush a repeater real quick, come on. Got him, not bad. Get more lily pads out. That should get rid of that guy. It's gonna be close though, he might, oh, okay, no, he's fine. Okay, ready. Got it, okay. I'm gonna get another repeater over that way as soon as I can on the bottom lane so we can deal with that next guy. Okay, so that's pretty good. We're making some decent progress. I mean, we do have Tangle Kelp right now for anti-water zombies, but that's only gonna last for so long, and that's what I'm worried about. So we need our next repeater up soon, and then we'll have a full set of repeaters, which makes things easier, for sure. We'll, we'll start doing the Marigolds once uh, everything else is in order may take some effort. You know what, let's go, nah, it's not where I wanted to put him. Oh, malarkey. Okay, definitely worth the 25 sun right there. 
I might as- ah, I shouldn't get rid of him now. Should wait a little bit. Okay, so... I guess here is good. That way we'll put the tall knot here, get another repeater there. Hmm. Now you, sir, I'm a little worried about, but I guess we could just put a tall knot in front of you and that should be okay? Yeah, we have a lot of sun, so if that's what we want to decide with, actually, I'll be fine with this for now. Uh, but this'll probably be where we actually put the uh, tall knots, just because I feel like it's a good spot. If they're out here, the zombies could spawn in front of them, which is not good, and I don't want that, so ain't gonna happen. Okay, so this guy, I think we'll be able to use Tangle Kelp against him as well, and that should be fine. So let's just keep getting Torchwoods out for the repeaters, and get more repeaters out. You should be blocked by the Tangle Kelp. I'm sure hoping you are. Got it, there we go, not bad at all. So we have another Tall Nut. This, once again, these Tall Nuts are actually gonna be out here, so. And I got that going on, I can do this. I do need another Tauna in the water very soon. If not, things are gonna get nasty once I, the dolphins start showing up. And the dolphins will show up, it's a, it's a matter of when, not if. So I think we can start working on our cattails, that way we can also work on the recharge of them. I've not been collecting the gold, the merry gold have been popping out, but at the same time, I don't have the time right now. I'm focusing on this, I think it's much more important to just survive. I did get that coin though. Got that, gotta get that last torch wood. So we're starting to run a lot lower on sun now, but we've gotten some stuff figured out along the way, so I think it's fine. Come on, get one more, got it, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so. Hmm, gotta wait a little while for our next cat tail. This torch wood, poor torch wood, uh, not torch wood. Tall nuts getting destroyed, because we don't have anything defending him. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, chocolate, okay, no, and he showed up at the worst possible spot. We just got, we just, no, we just lost that. Come on, that's not cool. Definitely need another cattail, but I need to be careful about when I do it. This guy should get taken out, which is nice, and then we're gonna go ahead and, oh my gosh, this is insane. Got it, okay, so now's a good time to do that. Get a lily pad there. This is insane. Just trying to keep up with everything. Every other lane is looking okay at the moment. Got it. So. Things are looking great. And we have two more huge waves. Like a huge wave is about to hit though. Like that's sort of the thing. The huge waves aren't even the hard part. It's what comes after the huge waves. Is that usually that sort of steps up the amazing amount of zombies that'll start just flowing out on an average amount, and there's like no recovery time, except for right before the huge wave, so the huge wave itself just really isn't that bad. So it's just crazy, <laughs> no matter what. Get another cattail, because these guys are amazing. Get more coins as well. And at this rate, I can make more uh, repeaters, even though the gremlins are doing just fine. It's just really focusing on the water lane for now. So maybe even more repeaters on the water lane. And we have 750 sun, and we're getting loads more, so it should be fine to do that. Okay, so yeah, the cattails just take a while to recharge. And I would like those last two uh, sunflowers to be replaced with cattails eventually. But I have a while to go for that just because of the recharge time. Okay, so we got another one of these dudes. I might just put this here to deal with them. Maybe not worth it, but it's what I did. So we're getting some extra money from this. It's, it's useful. I mean, we've got a good chunk of cash. I mean, I know we just sold a bunch of marigolds, and that's sort of where the source of some of our cash is coming from as well. But I think we're still doing well. I'm trying, really? <laughs> I couldn't do it. I was <coughs> trying not to sneeze. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I at least looked away from the microphone, so hopefully it wasn't too loud. Okay, so, oh gosh, we're doing okay, but could be better. Actually, no, this is pretty decent. We just need tall nuts wherever they apply, and we've got that mostly down. Okay, so a huge wave of zombies is approaching. The best thing we can do is probably just put more split peas down, but more than that, just sort of let things be. We've done what we can about it all. Collect some money from the marigolds, have a good time. Live a little. Okay, somebody dropped the gold coin, I heard it, I got it, good stuff. Another gold coin, so I could get this guy to be a cattail, awesome. 
No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Whoops. Gotta get that. Okay, there we did it. Nice, okay, so that was a pretty good round. Not too challenging, like I was expecting going into it as soon as we found that solution to the Dolphin Rider, which of course was Tall Nuts. Getting to it was a little bit of a challenge, and look at this, we got our good friend the Zamboni making plenty of appearances in today's episode, but now we also have the pole vaulting zombies, so this is a bit of a mess. I'm thinking that just setting up a powerful uh, spike weed will definitely deal with the both of them pretty decently, but definitely they have some like high jump. They have both the Dolphin Rider and the pole vaulting, this is not gonna be easy, and the combo of plants isn't that easy to deal with either. I mean, once again, I can always just ignore the plants, but that's not a part of the challenge now, is it? How is our, let's go back. So we have all the rakes still. Hmm, we need a, uh, guaranteed we'll need a lily pad. So I think this will work. The hard part is that I don't wanna go Torchwood this round because I feel like it would be too much compared to you know also having to use the Jalapeno at times, also having to just have the space for the Torchwood and then these two are going to be expensive. So it's gonna be tough no matter what. So I think it just might be better to uh, not focus on that too much and work with some other stuff. So for now, just get the sunflowers out, do what I can and see how things go. Got it, awesome. So let's see what else we can do here. Got it. And who's gonna pop out of next sun? Come on, come on. One of you two, neither of you two. Well, I guess they can they can both make their own sun, and then I'll make another sunflower or something. No. <laughs> this one at the top left, like this is not making a sun. Come on. Sooner or later, right? There it goes, finally. Jeez, that took a while. It's concerning. Okay, so I'm I'm thinking like we want a lot of sunflowers here, but we gotta put the potato mines there. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna have to get the three Peters out. We're probably gonna have them on the lanes next to the water. That way they cover the water and cover the lanes adjacent to it. You know, that's always really good. So we'll get that done and we'll sort of work from there. I think we'll get some, you know, snow peas out is always great, but we don't need them out immediately. We need more damage and we need, you know, slow down, I suppose, in a way. Okay, well, let's just not get too distracted. We should be able to get a potato mine for that brown coat. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, potato mine, sunflower. Okay, so now we just gotta save a bunch. Like maybe we could even do more sunflowers. I just don't know how good of an idea that is at the moment. We can do a three-peater there. So that at least has us slightly covered between here and the water lane for a little bit, and I think that's nice to have. Okay, so we need another 325. But in the meantime, since we're waiting around, it seems a good chunk here anyways, so you're not gonna reach that potato mine, so it was sort of silly to put it there. But we got another potato mine, look at that. Okay, so, got this three, Peter. Need one more sun to get another sunflower on the water. Got it. Okay, that, is that potato mine gonna pop up at all? Oh gosh, just barely. That was scary, because that could've turned out real bad. So are you gonna attack that dude? You are, which is very nice. I could uh, do this. That's not bad. I didn't want him out so far in, but sort of the best I had at the moment. So let's do more lily pads, and I guess I should put some snow peas out like this, just because it makes for a little bit more affordable damage in some decent spots. And then we'll also do that, slow him down a little bit, and then get a spike weed there. Really just try to damage him up a little bit more. Got it. I mean, I don't think there, are there zombie, zombonies on this level? Oh yeah, there are, so we gotta be prepared for that. Right now, I'm not the most prepared for it. This is a really scary level so far. There's just so much to factor in, it's crazy. And I'm trying to, and that's why I'm trying to get out so many sunflowers. The three Peter's actually being surprisingly helpful in that approach, which I appreciate. Appreciable approach. Hmm, I'm guessing three Peter there is sort of our best bet for the uh, this dude right now. It's looking like it. So get a spike weed wherever I can. I might have to be careful about the dolphin rider as well. If we could you know, save our tall nuts for that at the moment, that'd probably be also a good idea. <laughs> it just, it's hard to save anything forever, anything when you have this kind of situation, you know? If I do this right though, I can have a lot of sunflowers on the water without having to worry too much about uh, putting anything else on them, which is what I really want. Okay, got some of this, got some of that. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so um, 
what do we want to do about all this? I'm thinking three Peter here, and then snow pee on the water like that. We need another 100 so we can at least be, at the bare minimum, slightly protected against Zombonies. I want to get those up to Spike Rock, so let's continue on with that. Uh, yeah, so we'll put snow peas here. I'm trying to also make sure that everybody can get slowed down on each lane, which isn't always easy. It'd be interesting if there was a three Peter upgrade that made it a snow pea. You know, similar to how the sunflower has like a twin sunflower, maybe the three Peter could have a twin snow pea. I don't know. I don't know what you would call that. Maybe like the blizzard pea? That'd be pretty cool. But it would like cost a ton. I mean, I'd imagine like it would cost, I guess like 500. Or maybe like like four 400, because you're putting it on top of the 300. Uh, the 325, three Peter. But like, you know, 425, 450, like that wouldn't be, I mean, ah, that would be really expensive. That's like, Eight, nine hundred sun in total. And of course you pop up on this lane. The other lane I didn't want you to pop up on. Okay, well we dealt with you anyways. I'm going to deal with whoever I can here. Probably by getting rid of you like that. Uh, you know what, can we just, there, okay, we didn't even need that. I was trying to make you hop on that potato mine so we could actually get that potato mine to use, but no, didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. Get a spike rock over that way. I feel like I'm getting distracted by all this stuff. It's a little crazy, do you really blame me? There we go. And we just wanna keep focusing on uh, three Peters in those two lanes because it'll cover the rest of the lanes pretty effectively, and that's good. We don't have a Snoopy on this top lane though, and I need to solve that, so now it's solved, pretty good. Keep getting the, the spike weeds out whenever I can, but also tall nuts. Tons of everything to deal with, everywhere. <laughs> it's insane. But I think we're doing okay. I need a little bit more sun if I want another three Peter, so trying to get that. Oh boy, Zamboni, you popped up in a good spot though, thank you. So three Peter there, we have 125 sun left over, 150, we're making it up. It just takes time. So we have a spike rock everywhere where we need it. And this is actually four, four flags, four uh, huge waves this time, which I wasn't actually realizing until now. So now we have all the spike rocks. And got it, not bad, not bad. Just need some tall nuts and a couple of other things and we'll be rolling pretty well. I mean, I only want one snow pea per lane, because I just don't think it's really all that crucial to have more than that, so in these other lanes, yes, another Zen Garden plant! We could have other three Peters, so we'll probably go for just that in just a moment. For now, though, I'm still just trying to work on getting rid of these sunflowers, because it's still more advantageous to have three Peters here than to have them anywhere else. And there's tons of peas being shot out from everywhere now, which is great. Almost have another spike rock available. And this will be the last three Peter we put on this lane, which is good. Because there's no more room to put them anywhere else. Okay, so that's actually turning out really nicely. Three Peter, Snow Pea. We haven't used a jalapeno yet, but we have some time to make that work, so I'd rather worry on the uh, worry about the essentials for now. Okay, so let's get to that. The best thing I can do for now, though, is just earn up sun. Earn up sun, place on the spike rocks when we can. There's all the tall nuts I have to worry about for a little while. There's another Zamboni, and there he goes. <laughs> He's pretty easy to deal with at the moment. I mean, we could put snow peas here just for extra firepower. I think that might be smarter, just because I save a lot of sun that way. I wanted to put three Peters there instead, but don't think it's worth it for if you're not getting the full use out of them. So we're just gonna go ahead and place one there. They have quick recharge as well. I think compared to the three Peters, they're a little bit better. So that should be good. I'm happy. Oh boy. So this is our third out of four huge waves. We got another spike rock, putting them down there, so we have four spike rocks ready to go. And we got it. So, at this rate, we can put down a jalapeno whenever we want to. We'd have to find a place to put them is the only challenge. <laughs> right now, it's hard to find one, because we have this place so fully wrapped up. You know, I might just go ahead and do that then. So with that, we can say that we've used it, and then in the in the place of that sunflower, what we'll do is we will uh, put a three Peter. So I'm not really so pressured to get any more uh, jalapenos out. We'd be much smarter to re rely on some other things. The Zamboni is uh, not a problem. I don't think any of these Zambonis are gonna be a problem. Unless they throw out like non-stop Zambonis, then our spike rocks might run into an issue. But the chances are low that's gonna happen with only one more flag left. Okay, so at this rate, I just need one more sun. Got it. 
Put it there. And it's fine putting it in the water lane because all three of the shots still serve some kind of purpose, hitting something somewhere. And that's good, that's what we want. Okay, so. Let's try to figure this out. 325, no, that's a snow peak. Dang it, that's not the one I wanted. <laughs> oh well. Huge wave of zombies coming in. You know, I'm just gonna put a sunflower back there instead. Leave it like this, it should work out just fine. Oh, this spike rock actually is a little bit damaged, but he still has a lot more damage he can take, so I'm not so worried. Uh, you know what, I see a lot of zombies right here. We're gonna use the jalapeno. Get a sunflower back there and get a spike rock there. There we go, everything's nice and symmetrical, I think. Except for this one sunflower down there. So we're gonna fix that one, and then boom, everything's symmetrical. Haha! <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's all already up to 3 9 completed, which means we just got one more major level left to deal with. And that is, of course, the all out zombie attack. Now, this isn't the storm, that's next world, which we'll be tackling next episode, hopefully. But we should be able to do pretty well. We'll just throw non stop lily pads at me to begin with. It might, you never know. Uh. Let's do that. Hmm. I don't know if that was a good idea. We'll find out. <laughs> Just trying to wait and see what is the best choice. Probably the three Peters getting them here and there like we've already tried. And we'll get torch towards that about there. I feel like I put the, the Tona a little too far up, maybe. And why didn't, I don't know. I'm questioning myself a lot now. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Let us just do that. And I'll probably start saving my squashes after this. That should be good. Get a torch wood there, that's good. Cause there's already two of these guys there. I don't know what I was thinking. But at least I'm thinking now. Hmm. Got it, that's okay. So we the, the four torch woods, if we get a fourth one out here, that's gonna be really nice right there. Okay, now we're working with something. We have extra torch woods. I think that will put them in the water lanes. So for now, let's just worry about other stuff. This is beautiful though. All I need to worry about now is just trying to get the lily pads in a proper place. Sort of wasted those, didn't I? Okay, so we got one right here. So next time anybody pops in that water lane, they're gonna be in trouble. Okay, I'll put that there. Yeah, we're probably gonna run into Zombonis. Hey, look at that jalapeno. So this is probably more difficult than the normal, oh gosh, I don't like this guy, what he's trying to do here, but we got some spares, we got some spare uh, torch woods going on, which might be necessary. We still haven't seen, we haven't seen a single thing in the, the water lane yet. Hmm. You know what, let's go ahead and squash this dude. Got him. No, you actually threw the torch wood, you jerk. You are a jerk, there we go. So we got a tall enough to protect that dude. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm using the rest of these lily pads for. I probably should just use them as backup, but I might not even need that, you know? Yeah, I should never say that. You can always use a backup. But once we get these full set of a three Peters, things will go very well. So I'm gonna hold on to these until I really need them. I probably, I'll wait for the tall nut as well. I was hoping we could get some spike rocks, but the chances are looking low. Hmm. So you know what, yeah, we're just gonna start getting these guys out as soon as I can. I don't like the look of this. It would be nice to get tall nuts in front of these guys. Go ahead and do this, that way it should just eat away at these dolphins, make that less of a worry. Yeah, get that going on there. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, lots of fire peas being shot out. It's beautiful. I see you, but you aren't gonna be able to do nothing about it, now are you? Okay, oh gosh, you're showing up in a bad spot. Come on, get him. Nice, good job, Squash, I'm proud of you. So the water lane really shouldn't be too much of a threat at this point. The scuba zombies aren't gonna be too big of a deal. We just need to get more of other stuff up, so that stuff's good. We got all of this lane of three Peters, that's good. Hmm. I'm just waiting for the Zombonis to ruin my day. Right now we have a full setup of uh, spike weeds. That might change at any moment. We have some replacement torch woods or tall, not torch woods, but tall nuts. We do have replacement tall nuts, or both of those. Torch woods, tall nuts, bit of a tongue twister, but we don't have replacement spike weeds, and that's a little scary. Okay, coins are everywhere, and we can start putting these guys in the water lane. Nice, look at that. So the first flag is done. We're moving into the second one. 
I'm gonna replace him, because he's a little bit damaged, nothing too badly, but. Okay, so I have jalapenos, which might be worth using with all these spike weeds going bye-bye. We'll have to wait and see for now. I'll wait until it's super necessary, like right here, and then right there. At least it also gets rid of the rest of the zombies nearby, which is something I could really use. Are you guys gonna be able to destroy that zomboni? Ah, I shouldn't have placed that. Shouldn't have placed that, but I did. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know how it's gonna work against that dude. Come on, don't run over that torchwood, thank you. Or that tall nut, you know, you know. Come on, we can handle this. Look at all the peas being shot out, it's insane. I love it. They all immediately get taken out the moment they jump. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, we got another lily pad. Put this guy there. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Wait, 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 oh, I didn't even realize I had another spike weed. Gosh darn it, I'm silly. So the guys on the outside lanes aren't taking as much damage. Oh gosh, yeah, they're really not taking as much damage. No, 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 stop him, stop him this instant, give me some chocolate. I eat chocolate when I'm stressed apparently, because I'm very stressed at the moment. Come on, destroy these dudes. Oh my gosh, we've got some bobsleds coming in as well. This is tough to keep up with. It's quite the challenge, but I think we're doing it. Okay, we just had the last huge wave, which like I said before, the huge waves really aren't that bad sometimes. Okay, so we got some extras. We can just throw these out as extra protection, but with the Zombonis being how they are, don't know if that'll be all that worth it. So boom, hit that. Probably should've put that on the top lane instead, but you live in the yard, don't you? Oh my gosh. No, get rid of him, get rid of him. Thank you. Go ahead and get rid of some of these dudes. Somehow they got past here. When did they do that? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Boom, we got it. So World 3 is complete on New Game Plus. Very, very challenging. But hey, we got it. So looks like it is now time for World 4 The Night Time Backyard, which we'll start tackling in the next episode. But that was so much fun. Not quite done though, because you guys know we got three little Zen Garden plants. I know everything needs a watering in here. I just don't have too much time to play the game outside of recording. So this Tana over here needs to be grown up. This spike weed does. Is this a repeat spike weed? It's not a repeat spike weed, so yeah. We're gonna find out what everything is and you know move on with it, which will be awesome. I thought we had another repeater. Nah, I guess not. I guess it was just a repeat tall nut that we had. Well, we'll just grow everything up nice, big, and strong. Everything else in here is grown, so I'm just focusing on this bottom corner, essentially. Got it. Got you, oh, you're ready to grow up a little bit more? What do you do? Okay, so you're not full grown just yet, but you, what are you, the grand unveiling? Hey, look at that! It's a uh, little tangle kelp, and we get another tall nut and another spike weed. One of those was exciting, the other one, other two were a little disappointing. It happens. Let's go ahead and get you into the water. This is our first tangle kelp, though, which is awesome, and they should actually water themselves, as you can see, uh, which is awesome as well, so we'll just have to show that show up at some point there. That's amazing. So you can grow a little bit more, and then I'll probably immediately sell you when you grow up, which is an awful thing to say. I'm so sorry, I don't mean it. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, uh, we can grow some of these guys. I don't even know if these guys are at full or not. It's hard to tell, they're always so small anyways. So you know what? We'll grow the wisdom tree and see if it gives us any new wisdom. Nope. We'll just grow it to 110 and see what ends up happening. And the next episode, we'll grow to 10 feet taller. And just sort of keep working like that. Grow me tall enough, I know. If you guys know, does it give you any more wisdom after 100 feet? I would love to hear. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, 109, 110. Nope, nothing this time. Better luck next time. Don't think there's anybody else to water except for these guys. We'll go ahead and do that a little bit more. This whole area always reminds me of Peggle. There's like this whole uh, background with all the mushrooms and stuff. I love that game so much. Peggle is the best. Let me know if you guys ever want to see a Peggle series. I don't know if anybody actually would, but maybe I will at some point. Okay, we're just gonna wait out for these three puff shrooms to see if we can't grow them up a little bit more, and if we can, excellent, but it might take a second. Here we go. Oh, nice, spin out two diamonds, so you should be full grown then. We take a look, you sell for 10,000, which might not be so bad, seeing that we have two others we can already keep. I think I'm gonna keep the ones that are, or one of them that's orientated to the right, because that's the proper orientation for uh, how they are in game. And I just sort of appreciate that uh, one-to-one. So we're gonna go ahead and sell this guy 
and that guy, and that's $65,000, which we'll use to buy more Tree of Wisdom stuff and probably many other things in the next episode of Plants vs. Zombies. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment three Peter Zebra so now you've watched at the end that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.